So I'm getting ready to install this Shift Technology Products uh, coolant bypass into the truck. And if you're looking for this video, you likely already know the benefits of installing something like this. So I'm not even gonna go over that. There's a few steps we have to do. The first one is to take the coolant or bypass block off of the side of the transmission. There's two lines going to it. And then there's a bracket in the back that holds those two lines in place. So underneath the vehicle, and as mentioned, this is the rear bracket that I was talking about that's holding these two lines. <laughs> or undo the 15 millimeter bolt here and just kind of flop it out and get it out of the way. But follow these up. That's your cooling block. So you're gonna need a 10 mil and a 13 mil in order to take that off of those lines. There is going to be some fluid leakage. It shouldn't be that much. 15 millimeter ratchet. Just like that. So now we can move this out of the way. We'll have much more room to mess with the coolant block. 10 millimeter on here. All I'm gonna do is just undo this so we can take those lines out. Then we're gonna get the 13, pull this one off. Just in case, pulling the 13 out right now. off a little bit of drippage and like i said it's it's honestly not much so now that i kind of know where the fluid's gonna go provided the wind doesn't move anything around we can take this 10 mil out just like that should be able to pop this out go the key part here that we need to take note of you'll see on the back of the block here there's an o-ring that got stuck here that's supposed to go on these lines and you do not want to lose these they do look like normal o-rings but just go ahead and throw that back on this top one is up there let's put this rag up here just as kind of a temporary deal here just so we don't get any dirt grime or whatever in there it's not really to stop any leaking but meet you guys back at the workbench all right so how you crack one of these open is first try and clean it up as much as possible but you look up here we have a standard c-clip grab my bigger pair There we go. So you guys can see how they have this going back together. Simple thermostat, very similar to a normal coolant thermostat. So you guys can see they give us all the parts that we need in order to do this job. There is a certain way everything's got to go back together. What we're going to do is you're going to grab this bushing, your new O-ring, the small one, put that on right here. And then check your block. That's going to sit right on top. So for this, I'm just going to use some Lucas. Not a whole lot. Lucas works as an awesome assembly fluid. You don't need much. But we're just gonna do that. Put it down and in place. Then we grab this, move up these O-rings, put number one on that one there it's no big deal just as long as they both go on there just like that 
And then you grab the ball, plop it in just like that. Cone, the conical side goes against the ball, just like this. You guys can see with that Lucas in place, that piston bushing does not come out all that easily. So we're just going to put everything back together. So that's past the first O-ring. Slide that past. So grab our C-clip, reinstall this. Quick inspection. Everything's installed properly, so it's ready to be reinstalled on the truck. And of course, double check again to make sure both of these O-rings are where they should be. You will run into problems if you install that incorrectly. So, stick that back on. want to make sure that these are bottomed out as much as possible. If you have any leaks, that should be the first place that you check it is right along where these two lines bolt in. Just doing this finger tight and then take the entire assembly, throw it back up and in. And this bracket, swing that back around and then throw your 15 millimeter bolt back in and start the threads. And of course, just finish up the install, tighten everything down as needed. Everything's good, nothing's hung up or binding. Make sure this one's nice and snug. And can't forget the 15 millimeter. There we go. It actually wasn't that messy. But that's your final result. So all we have to do now is just turn the vehicle on, let it run, or really just drive it around. Shouldn't be any leaks. If there is, come back down, reassess everything you did, and Try and figure it out. No leaks. I'll just run your vehicle for a little while, recheck it, you know, let everything get up to operating temperature as it normally would, just to make sure that there's no further leaking or anything that you're gonna have to go down and check out again. But I'd say overall it was a success, very simple, easy modification to do to any of these 6L transmissions that GM has made. Definitely recommend it, and it comes highly recommended from their own technicians, believe it or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.